hello everyone welcome to ppo interview tutorials i hope you guys have watched uh, the last video which is related to six sigma uh, methodology so guys do watch that so that you will get to know about the basic introduction and then the methodology and you can also uh, see the videos related to uh, yellow bulb certification so guys share subscribe the channel also uh, share your feedback comments and uh, also share your views on which topic you required the another video so keep sharing guys uh, let's start with today's concept so guys we have already discussed about the uh, six sigma methodology so wherein there are two type of it the first is demic which we have already discussed the another is DMADV. so guys today we will be looking after DMADV. what is this why we are using it and uh, what is the uh, definition so basically DMA DV which means define measure analyze analyze design and verify uh, DMA DV is also a data driven approach guys wherein it basically work on the basis of data and it basically help us with the new process okay so it basically help us with the new process so guys interviewer basically they will ask you about the definition or else they will ask you the overview about DMAIC and DMA DV so you guys can give the answer on the basis of this so here you guys can see like uh, the defined meaning will be same what we have discussed for dmaic uh, so uh, define which means we need to define what is the process who is the customer what is the goal and uh, what we are doing over it we need to define each and everything measure we will check out and we will uh, find out with the help of analysis uh, with the help of uh, uh, the data we will check what is the customer need what is the customer uh, specification we will measure it we will uh, find out the certain numbers on it analyze on the basis of the measurement what we have done we will do the analysis okay uh, I, you have seen my last video wherein I gave the example of Pareto analysis wherein we designed the Pareto chart for that is a measure phase and uh, on the basis of the Pareto we got this some information wherein we identified that 80% of the problem because of uh, the four or five parameters due to that the process is getting impacted or else on which this is all about the defect and if we talk about the new new process then there will be a certain parameters wherein uh, we need to work so we can identify that uh, if we work on the certain per, uh, percentage of the parameters the 80% what they are covering automatically our uh, overall performance will get uh, solved so in this way we will design and we will do the analysis we will define the measure and do the analysis then we have a design on the basis of uh, the understanding what we have got with the help of analysis and measurement we will design a process we will generate a blueprint on it and what customer needs we will check into it and the last we will verify the design and the performance on the basis of the customer needs so this is all about dma db no need to worry guys we will go with uh, the definition we will go with the uh, detailed information on each of this uh, word like define what is measure we will also check out the example on it and the basis of that we will uh, close this concept as of now just this is an overview about dma db which is dfss okay which means design for six sigma so dfss uh, we just remember the definition the meaning of it this basically used to redesigning the product or a service from the ground level okay so this is known as design for the six sigma basically we will use it with the demic and uh, maybe it turn into dfss project because uh, if we are not completing the uh, customer requirement or else uh, the desired improvement or degree of improvement was not happened so to uh, get that more uh, re desired result to get more defective process we will use dfss there so redesigning the process so this is all about the uh, methodology in six sigma guys uh, i'm again clear uh, clarifying the things here is these are just the overview the definition we will see one by one what is defined what is measure we will see with the help of example in our upcoming videos uh, guys thanks for watching you guys can subscribe the channel you can check the youtube or uh, the facebook page the instagram page wherein i will be posting uh, the job vacancies related uh, information uh, whatever job vacancies available there with regards to team related quality uh, associate you guys can cross check that and just let me know if you have any question on this particular video thanks for watching have a nice day guys